slowly crept back out of the darkness. The only thing on my mind, other than the pain, was the fact that my ill-begotten deeds had caught up with me. Fifty thousand dollars. Gone. How could I be that stupid? Considering the beating I'd taken, I was able to collect myself rather quickly, just in time to hear the boss's offer. Basically, he gave me three choices. One, I can give him the money I own. Two, enter a high-stakes poker game and retrieve some case by any means necessary. Any means necessary. That means he wants me to kill everybody in the room. Or three, I can let his lackey here finish the job she started. I figured the poker game was more up my alley. When I asked him what was in the case, he informed me simply, it's none of my business. And the case had a tumbling lock on it, so there was no way I was going to get in. You gotta do what you gotta do. With no options left, I accepted the job. And the lights went back out. myself up. Cold water stung. Just kept telling myself, I have no choice. I have no choice. He sent one of his girls along with me. Don't get me wrong, I didn't mind the company. But, you know, I guess she was just there to, to make sure I didn't run off, I suppose. Needless to say, I didn't trust her. She reminded me one last time of my responsibility. And with a nod, I went. In my mind, I had it all planned out. It was going to be easy. Taking candy from a baby, they say. Walk in. Put the gun to the guy's head. Take the case. As I walked in the room, I soon realized the trouble I was in. I tried to look unfazed. I was searched. 
bodyguard didn't put too much effort into it. Oh well. I had a feeling everyone's packing heat anyway. I mean, there were some real heavy hitters in this game. Like, for instance, Donnie Red Knuckles Hurtman, fellow gambler. He used to be a friend of mine. Sancho Deathbringer Diaz. And of course, the Grand Lemur himself. Kind of a big shot here in the underground. Got some kind of strange obsession with lemurs. Freaks me out. If anyone knew where the case was, he would. I waited till the time was right. Tried to stay calm, but you know, when you're about to kill a grown man, you get a little nervous. I went for my guns. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Time seemed to slow down. I was the one in control. Suckers didn't have a chance. I knew the lemur wouldn't give up the case right away. I put the gun to his head, asking for the case. Little shit still twisting on the floor. I told him not to move. He didn't listen. The lemur gave up the case, so I ended him. Didn't need him anymore anyways. Make a long story short, I got the case. I was a happy guy. Not for long.